guys, we decided to come back over to Inshane Designs through the week while they were open in hopes that maybe we could actually get inside and take a tour. However, if not, we're standing outside and we see this. This is Street Speed 717's giveaway Jeep, which has already been drawn. The winner has been called, as you guys probably are following along. But let's give you an up-close look at the kind of work that Inshane Designs does. I think it's pretty cool. Coincidentally, it's parked right beside the boat. Which, as I can tell, side by side has the same camo job on it. I'm not much of a Jeep guy, but I think I'd own that one. So when you first walk into the office at Inshane Designs, they've got their own little display here of some merchandise as well as wheels and the actual different kinds of wraps that you can get. And as we come over to the window here, you do get a chance to kind of see inside the shop. And uh, right there is Street Speed 717's Mustang that they are getting the uh, American wrap on. What a great looking car. So nobody other than the employees were around today, which I kind of suspected that anyways. I know that Shane and Mike are busy and they're probably not gonna be here right first thing on a, on a uh, Tuesday, this is Tuesday. Yeah, I think it's Tuesday. On uh, Tuesday morning, so uh, we just wanted to get over here, take a look, maybe bump into a few guys that, uh, that you might recognize, but anyways, we were allowed to go inside. I wasn't going to ask if I could film them wrapping Mike's car because I know Mike is trying to probably keep that a little bit of a priority for him. Not that people watch my channel for that. <laughs> I mean, we're yeah. talking uh, a big difference there. But anyways, I didn't even bother asking. I just figured I'd give a quick uh, glimpse through the window and uh, we had a really good, uh, opportunity to get inside. Kip bought himself a t-shirt. Mm. We're getting ready to head back over across the river. We'll catch up with you guys later. All right guys, so kind of an impromptu thing is we are down here in Harrisburg and a lot of guys that follow us on Instagram, uh, like Matt MPG for instance, reached out and said, look, you're not too far from me. I'm willing to come the extra little bit to come see you guys while you're down here, seeing how we drove. Uh, 14 and a half hours to get here. He didn't mind driving an extra 45 minutes to, <laughs> to make it happen. So guys, I want to introduce you guys to Matt from Matt MPG. What's going on guys? Matt, tell us a little bit about your channel and what you do on uh, the internet. Well, it's all started a couple years ago. I started out with a lot of people around in this area, going to car shows, cars and coffee, things like that. I got to meet, you know, a lot of people over the years. Senate Steve, Steve Fast from Hammerdown Motorsports, uh, uh, Guitar Armageddon, ZL1, Street Speed, all those guys. Uh, but my channel's kind of morphed into trying to focus on more uh, like traveling, sightseeing. Uh, I still go to car shows and stuff like that, but I like doing videos uh, related to anything local. Like, you know, one of my favorite tagline is no matter how far you travel, you can always stay local. And I just love supporting the local community, the small like craft breweries in the area, little mom and pop shop restaurants. And I love going to like um, scenic places like uh, the battlefield at Gettysburg, you know, things like anything like that that's local is, uh, you know, it's right here in your backyard no matter where you live. So it's, and I have a lot of fun with it. And that's great, Matt. So one of the things that we've, that I've been doing since we come here mm -hmm. is we've got some little Canadian gifts. To give oh, you. okay. So we brought right. some stuff with us. If you guys have been watching, you'll see in some of the other videos, some of those things, but we're going to give Matt uh, a little bit of memento of old car auto guy, as well as Canada. So let's do that now. So in Canada, one of the stores that we have, which is from coast to coast is called Canadian Tire. It's been around for almost a hundred years. I actually used to be a service manager there a few years back and they have a coupon system where every time you make a purchase, they give you coupons to use on your next trip. Gotcha. Coined Canadian Tire money. So here is a 50 cent Canadian <laughs> Tire awesome. coupon that if you go to Canada, you can take this there and get 50 cents off anytime. Yep. And also we've got a old car auto guy decal for your fire pit. We've got Lay's ketchup chips. This is a staple in Canada. Is it really? And man, no I want to I want to share this with oh, you and your family. Awesome. Make sure they have an opportunity to try those out. And it's not done yet. We got oh one God. last little surprise. So in New Brunswick recently, they've eliminated the front plates off of your vehicle. Oh, thank God so for that. So I have a car lot. I've got an excess of New Brunswick license oh plates. So I've got this one here for you, Matt. Honestly, and, uh, that I hope will you be, can display that. This is going to be the very first license plate to go up in my garage. There you go. Thank you. And there you go, guys. Another happy YouTube vlogger who uh, has gotten some gifts from Canada. And uh, Matt, we hope that you enjoy those. So uh, 
we're going to continue on to Send It Steve, and we'll catch up with you there. Well, if any of you guys that follow Send It Steve on a regular basis will know that uh, back a while ago, he had his own uh, car lot, or he partnered with a guy uh, with a company to have their own car lot, and we're about ready to go buy it. So uh, take a look at this. And by the looks of things, we're not doing a whole lot of business. Today marks the long 14-hour trek home from Harrisburg, PA, so stay tuned. Well, guys, I don't know exactly where we are in New Jersey, but we are here, and uh, we've been driving for about an hour and a half-ish. Maybe a little bit closer to, I don't know. Anyways, we're in New Jersey. We just stopped for a little pee break and uh, we're hitting the road again. So this is the status of our situation at the moment. Maybe this is typical of uh, New Jersey driving. I don't know. My guess is likely. I'd say so. So I'm not sure if it's just a New York thing or not, but we're going down the interstate. I got the cruise control set at 70 miles an hour and you can probably see it coming into the camera shot now we're being passed by a wide load like come on guys do you need your gazebo that bad to be going down the highway at 70 with it So we've made it back to Vermont. We're only about 10 miles outside of uh, Rutland, which is where I'll be spending the night with Kip one more time. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank Kip for putting me up for a couple of nights and uh, making this trip a little bit more enjoyable. And I want to thank you, Jason, for uh, not only inviting me, but uh, introducing me to the guys that you've been talking with and uh, making this trip an amazing, fun time. Yeah, and uh, so the plan is maybe next year we might plan another trip, maybe a little bit longer, and see if we can't line up a couple of guys that maybe we didn't meet up this time, or maybe meet up with some guys for a little bit longer duration and have a little bit more fun. So that's going to end this little bit of the leg of the journey for today, and we'll pick right back up again tomorrow morning when we head back home. Well, it's the next day, Thursday. And we just left Rutland, Vermont. We're heading into the mountains uh, on our way through New Hampshire and Maine to get back home. So I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who took the time to let Kip and I kind of into their inner circle down in Harrisburg. Not everybody does that. In fact, some of the bigger YouTubers wouldn't even answer us back uh, on some messages. And even some of the guys that knew them when we asked, they said, ha ha funny story uh, they probably would not make time so I'm glad that those who did did and well maybe next time we'll be one of the big guys so we've made it to New Hampshire and I must admit probably out of all the states that we've traveled through over the last you know few days here New Hampshire probably has some of the best roads around. I mean, granted right now, I'm stuck on Route 4 in a two-lane road uh, and there's some construction up ahead, but nevertheless, it has been a great ride home from Vermont. Like, once I hit New Hampshire, roads were great. Maybe the rest of the states could take a page right out of New Hampshire's book. Just like that, we're back in Maine, so only about uh, four hours to go. go to well guys, we've made it to Bangor, Maine. Only about 90 miles left to go. Final stretch. Well guys, we've made it back to Canada. Well, almost. We're sitting on the bridge, waiting to get through customs, and then I'll be able to head home. Well guys, now that I am back home and back down at the camper and caught up on some much needed rest after that long drive, it's time to end this video. Remember that Last Fit is a sponsor of the headlights, reverse lights and license plate lights here on Old Grandma. If you want to get your very own, you can go to lastfit.com and use promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10 to get 10% off your order. And as always, this beard 
is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. Get all your products at sussexbeard.com. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.